Well, the walls could be closing in on the Biden crime family. According to multiple reports, the federal investigation into Hunter Biden's business activities has reached a, quote, critical phase. Biden family has faced corruption questions for years, but has avoided accountability thanks in large part to a corrupt press that has been busy covering up their alleged crimes. Let's discuss with Republican Congressman Matt Gates. Congressman, it's been a long time, sir. It's always great to see you. You know, we were led to believe the increase, increased scrutiny stems from the Hunter Biden laptop that much of the press and the so-called former intelligence folks claimed without facts was Russian disinformation. Where do you think all this is going now? Well, keep in mind, the FBI has had this laptop for many years. It was only recently that we were able to get it into the congressional record when media outlets were able to piece together different features of Hunter Biden's life that didn't just demonstrate personal depravity, but in fact, public corruption. The evidence that is most interesting to me links the travel records of Hunter Biden and his foreign business connections to correspondence regarding potential deals and payments to him, and then meetings with Joe Biden and various interested parties. So there's a, a web of those interactions that are being brought into focus now. And I think that's putting pressure on federal authorities not to treat Hunter Biden differently. It's also important to note that mm -hmm. while we draw this information from the laptop now, that was then and this is now. Hunter Biden is still gallivanting around the world selling influence. He is an ongoing walking crime spree in progress. I believe that the Republicans will actually have to set up a special select committee to just look into Hunter Biden with experts from foreign affairs, from House Judiciary, from the Oversight Committee, because he really has become a center point of a lot of this Biden crime family activity. Right. And there should also be an investigation into Mr. Biden, Joe Biden, being caught on tape saying that he withheld money allocated by Congress to a foreign country until a country fired a prosecutor. That's exactly what they impeached Donald Trump for, by the way. Uh, meantime, ultra-vaxxed, speaking of Joe Biden, ultra-vaxxed Joe Biden has tested positive for the China virus. But he was saying this just yesterday. Watch. What's your take on the next steps for COVID, Mr. President? Cases are going up. What should the country be doing right now? Getting vaccinated. And for those who aren't? They've got a problem. Yeah, you got a problem. Okay, the super spreader right there. But of course, the real problem is Joe Biden. He's forcing our military to take this vaccine when data shows that vaccines effectiveness is actually waning and does not seem to be working very well. New data out of the UK showing 90% of the China virus deaths in 2022 were among the vaccinated. So why is our military and, and others having their lives ruined by the government and unscientific woke companies if this is the case. I believe there is a purposeful purge going on in our military right now. The vaccine mandate is one vector of that purge. But of course, the intense focus on wokeism, critical race theory, embracing socialism, calling everybody a white supremacist, those are other vectors that all are trying to achieve this leftist takeover of the Department of Defense. I mean, you look at Joe Biden, it was cancer yesterday, COVID today, been a rough week. I guess we're all <laughs> married to a doctor, right? I mean, the, the, the fallacy of the Biden regime is that he's really in charge of anything. I don't think that much will change at the White House because it's largely his staff and the vestiges of the Obama administration driving these decisions. Yeah. But the pain is the purpose. It is not an ancillary effect on the, on the military uh, when you apply the vaccine mandate. It is the point of the vaccine mandate to try to create a monolithic military in the image of the American political left, not the patriotic image and the patriotic really underpinning that we've all come to respect so much about our military. Yeah, the surrendering uh, political left. I've got two questions. I've only got a minute and a half to get them in. So question number one, Joe Biden claims he will declare a climate emergency. Congressman, will his declaration have any force of law? Uh, it will have the force of his administrative agencies, which he is arming to the teeth. House Democrats resisted legislation late last evening to stop the EPA, the Department of Education, these entities from getting a whole lot of weaponry. So I actually am very concerned that when they use language like emergency, that they will use that to vastly expand powers that don't exist now. I mean, who would have told us a few years ago the CDC would set rent policy in our country, but that's what the emergency paved the way for. Wow. Okay. And 
Last thing, study after study shows China is the biggest emitter of CO2 on the planet, yet no Democrat proposes stopping China from emitting that gas. Leftists claim that that gas is destroying the planet. D doesn't that reveal that the goal of the Democrats isn't to wipe out man-made global warming, but actually to wipe out America's economy? Yes, the goal of the Democrats is to use climate as a basis for the unilateral disarmament of the American economy. And the reason they're okay with that is they didn't think much of America in the first place. They think we're a racist, irredeemable, deplorable country. I actually think we're a great country that can make more of our own things. So Democrats should actually join me in supporting a border adjustment pollution tax, where if, if dirty Chinese products are coming into our country that are destroying our planet, that are hurting our working class, hurting our people, that make them pay for that, we shouldn't pay for it with a dirty environment and with cheap bad goods that make cheap men in a cheap country. Yeah, well, apparently, Congressman, uh, communist CO2 is better than free enterprise CO2, according to the Democrat Party. Sir, I always appreciate the time. You have a great day, and we'll see you soon.